It's not my grandmother's. My grandmother's is seasoned as well, but this is a newer a cast iron skillet. You see it has a shine on it. It has been properly seasoned. And I'm going to go ahead and fry the hot water cornbread in Old Faithful. That's cast iron, baby. That's good quality. And if you're wondering what kind of uh, dishes I have, I have Wolfgang Puck. Because y'all know I cater on the side, so I like to use the, the nicer um, stainless steel pots and pans and skillets and things other than my cast iron because it has all my proper measurements. And if y'all had noticed, it was three quarts of beans all by themselves. And then with the liquid and the vegetables, which was the Holy Trinity plus a white onion, you know, y'all know the whole, Holy Trinity is uh, green pepper, yellow pepper, red pepper, and then just a white onion diced. Not too big, not too little, because you want something in every spoonful. You understand what I'm saying? It's good down home eating, made a little bit more healthy for us. But I'm of, of the old school and I enjoy my old dishes, but I enjoy making them in a, in a healthier way. Okay. My hot water cornbread is no different than anybody else's. It's just yellow cornmeal, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of salt. Um, my water for my hot water cornbread is boiling. The trick to it is exactly that. You're just going to add a little hot water to your cornmeal and sugar and salt mixture. And a little at a time so that you can get it kind of like Play-Doh. And then it's going to be real, real hot. So I got my cold water with some, with some ice cubes to the side. Because... I got to work tomorrow and I'm not trying to have my hands sore for trying to make something that I, I do want to uh, enjoy and eat. But uh, the oil is just canola oil, nothing special. You know, I'm just trying to do it the right way. And you'll tell, you can tell that after you take the initial water from boiling your turkey neck bones, that water is almost clear. And before it wasn't. So you can obviously tell that it was pulling all that stuff that you shouldn't put in your body right on out and it's down the drain and we're just going to put some bean soup in the bowl lay a couple turkey neck bones on top of it and have some hot water cornbread with it and call that a southern dish made healthy Water cornbread. There's two left to fry. You don't have to mess with them. They're golden brown on one side, flip them golden brown on the other, take them out, set them on a napkin to drain, and voila. You want to discard the water that you boil down your turkey necks in because it has so much fat and so much of the salt product that they um, had around your turkey neck bones. You want to go ahead and discard that and just fill that with water and a little olive oil, a little seasoning. But don't take your meat straight from this and put it into your bean soup. Don't do that. That's not healthy. We're trying to live right and, and li live to... Uh, eat to live and not live to eat so we're going to do this the healthy way but discard this and this water had um, some apple cider vinegar to further pull the the impurities out of the turkey neck bones some paprika some lara seasoning no pepper there's no pepper needed you don't want to add extra heat if you can tell there were two what they at? They in there. There they go. Them, them jalapenos right there. Just to put a little something, something on that meat. But yeah, you want to get rid of that. 